What is up Max and welcome to another epic video on iHelp for Mac. And today I will be teaching you how to install Super Wolfenstein HD on a Mac. Um there are uh practically no tutorials on this. I'm probably the first one to do this tutorial for, for Wolfenstein HD for Mac. And I'm today I'm gonna teach you how to, to how to do that. Alright. First, you want to go to your Google browser or Google Chrome and, and type in uh, Super Wolfenstein HD. You'll get this website link. Um, once you get into once you click on it, you get this website link and you press here, download games. And make sure you download this one. This is for um, another original it this actually comes with a shovel this doesn't um so what you want to do is press download yeah and while you're at it if you don't have unity or if you have it installed already um just download it uh from yeah download or type in unity i'll leave um the links down in the description below so you press here. Once you download them um, both, uh, install Unity if you don't have it. Um, it has a little tiny bit of lag spikes that um, depends on what Mac you have. Like if you have an i i core of uh, of five, Intel Core of five, um, you it will basically run smoothly. Um, probably, probably normally you would run smoothly on an Intel Core 3. Um, I have an Intel Core 2, so I'm, I'm a little bit sad about that. But, um, yeah. So, it will definitely run smoothly on an iMac. And, um, other types of computers that, are um, that can run this game. Alright. Secondly, you want to go to your web browser. And type in codeweavers.com. Now you need to do a lot of stuff for this. Um, if you check out my other videos or um, records, uh, it will tell you all the all the stuff you need. But I'm going to show you anyway because I'm not lazy. So um, so first of all, first of all, you want to click on free trial and enter your name and email address um, this could be any name, this could be any email address so you can get it uh, once you download and install this or already have it um, you want to go into um, crossover games I have like um, this welcoming thing or um, try now for the, the trial, 14 day trial uh, what you want to do is you want to you want to um, Go to configure up top, but you must click on uh, crossover games. See how it changes when I click on my desktop. So you must click on crossover. So once you've done that, press configure and manage bottles. Um, uh, nothing will come out, it will just be blank. So what you want to do is to create an, a bottle. So press plus, the plus sign on the bottom right here. Oh, right there, and tie it, call it super wolf stein, stein HD or something else that probably represents the actual game. I don't know, but it's up to you. You can call it anything you want. Um, so once you created that, it won't take long. Um, it won't take long. Probably take like five, two minutes, but if you have a, a good computer, it'll probably take about 50 seconds or, or 20 seconds. Alright, so once, you, once you've done that, you want to go back into crossover games. You want to go to Pro, uh, I mean, um, Configure. You want to go into Install Software. Now just, just wait for until all the games and and all the files up there. Mm. 
Okay. Okay, once it's loaded, um, scroll down with the scroll bar on the side and then go to run su support components. Alright, um, once you've done that, you want to install DirectX 9 and um, it will look like this and then you have to press select a bottle to install in and press the one that you um, that you created so say I created this one and install now it it won't take long for me it won't because uh, because I've already installed it and it doesn't really need that much time to install so here we go, it's installing now and there is another file program that you need uh, it is called modern time I mean uh, run uh, direct x runtime modern yes that's that's it um, so just let it download and then go straight to the other file as soon as you've done that and follow the steps that I told you before how to install the DirectX 9 with the same file uh, to install the runtime, DirectX runtime mode. So while is that installing, installing Let it install. This might not take a while for you, it depends on what Mac you have. My Mac is a 2010 model. Uh, model. So it does take a long time, but I'll probably get a new computer soon, probably. Okay, once that is done, if it's done, <laughs> and you can do it. Alright, once that is done, you want to go once that is done wow this really hasn't taken this really hasn't done this I don't know why it's going so slow but it hasn't been this slow since I rebooted it not too long ago Alright, it's done, finally. Anyway, now you want to go back into install software. Oh. It's running to loads again. You can skip if you want because this might take a long time. Now you want to go to runtime support components. Now you just want to look for Microsoft Direct X Runtime Modern. Make sure of this one and proceed. Now you just want to do the same thing as you did before. So click on your bottle that you made. Install. This might take another, this might take another, uh, it's probably going to take, take more time now, or well, probably not, I don't know. 
hopefully it's not going to take as long as before, because in my other videos, this, this is just too slow. Alright, so you just go ahead and press next and just wait until it installs. Yep, I knew it. Wow, it's gone really slow. Alright, it's nearly done. By now, you probably skip. Well, it doesn't matter. Alright, finish, finally. Okay. Alright. Is it done? Come on, refreshing the association. Alright, done. Thank God. Thank God. Okay. Now that it, you have installed everything, uh, Unity, um, Crossover, the two files for Crossover, uh, Microsoft DirectX Runtime Modern, and DirectX 9. Alright, now that you've got those two uh, those three in those three installed, um, as I told you before, I told you to download those um, that file and uh, Super Wolfenstein HD, and you will get a zip file file. And once you um, expand it, expand the zip file, you'll get this folder, and it'll it will be like this. Um, caution, do not move this folder anywhere, do not make copies of it, do not make, do not do anything with it, just don't touch it. You can open it if you want, but just don't touch it, because then it'll, it'll just stuff it up, and you probably accidentally deleted the zip file, file, and you have to install it again, it will take like five minutes to install, and it depends on your internet how fast it is, so, yeah. Anyway, so <laughs> once you've installed this, um, you want to open it up with Crossover Games or Crossover. Once that's opened up with Crossover, um, you want to select which bottle you want it in, so the one that you created before, and you press proceed. Install. Once that is installing, a screen will pop up like uh, any normal screen would do. It's probably because I'm recording and it's going really slow for some reason. Alright. Alright, um, shouldn't, it should pop up now. Yes, okay. Now this will pop up. You can change your screen, uh, uh, res uh, resolution. Um, can, you can change your graphics quality. Uh, fantastic. Depends what Mac you have. Um, full screen. Change your controls. And 
play. Now, normally I tried this before many times how to start the actual game. Uh, yeah, uh, the music plays; it's all good, um, and it's actually really fun. Um, click to start. So this get psyched. Now it would have all the all the sound, but it's recording and it's all lagging up. Now it would just stay like this. See, it's really really laggy because I'm recording, but it won't be this on the computer. So yeah. And. And that is how you get Wolfenstein, Super Wolfenstein HD on a Mac. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh, like and subscribe. And thank you all for your support. I am now up to 11 subscribers. And I, I think that's very, very good. And, and one day I could be as big as someone... Like, a, like probably, I wouldn't mind, um, I wouldn't, I would probably be happy if I get, like, 20 subscribers, but it doesn't matter. Um, thank you for all your support in, uh, in all my videos, and, and thank you. And I'll see, see you, see all you guys, and probably girls.